Hi there! Welcome back to GoNeeds' channel. Strikers have found it difficult to make a name for themselves at a time when Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo are dominating the world of football, with the aforementioned duo stealing almost all of the limelight. There are, however, some exceptions, and one of them is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. He is one of the world's bestest players and is consistently regarded as one of the game's best strikers. Let's find out some facts about his lifestyle in 2022 in today's video. Aubameyang was born in Laval, France. He is the son of a former Gabonese international footballer, Pierre Aubameyang, who was born in 1965, and Spanish mother, Margarita Crespo Aubameyang, who is Spanish. His father spent most of his career at French clubs Stade Lavalois and Le Havre. At international levels, he won 29 caps for the Gabon national team. After retirement, Aubameyang's father worked as a scout for AC Milan. Aubameyang, who has two older half-brothers from his father's side, Catalina, born in 1983, and Willie, born in 1987. They have both played for Milan's youth teams. Aubameyang is married to Alicia Behag. She was born in Lille in 1986 and studied at Lycee Gaston Berger. He met the love of his life when he was playing for AC Milan in Italy. The couple met nearly 10 years ago when Aubameyang wasn't quite tearing it up in Europe. Both of them used to live together in London while Aubameyang was at Arsenal, and now it is believed she has shifted with him to Barcelona too. They have two sons, Curtis born in 2011 and Pierre born in 2016. Due to his ability of speaking a lot of languages, his two sons are also multilingual. Now they can speak French, English and a bit of Italian. Aubameyang began his senior club career with AC Milan, but he never played for the club due to a series of loan spells in France. He played for Dijon in 2008-2009 season, Lille in 2009-2010 season, and Monaco and Saint-Étienne in 2010-2011 season. In 2011, he signed with Saint-Étienne on a permanent deal. Here he won the Coupe de la Ligue before joining Borussia Dortmund in 2013. In Germany, Aubameyang was the league's top goalscorer in 2016-17, winning the DFB Pokal. He is also the club's sixth all-time leading scorer. In 2018, Aubameyang was the subject of a then-club record association football transfer when signed for Arsenal in a transfer worth £56 million, making him the most expensive Gabonese player of all time. With Arsenal, he won an FA Cup and finished as the league's joint top goalscorer in the 2018-19 season. In 2022, Aubameyang joined Barcelona after his Arsenal contract was cancelled by mutual consent. As for his international career, he made a senior debut for Gabon in 2009, aged 19, and appeared in four Africa Cup of Nations tournaments, as well as the 2012 Summer Olympics. In 2016, Aubameyang was named African Footballer of the Year, the first Gabonese and the second European-born player to win the award. On 18th May 2022, Aubameyang announced his retirement from international football. He made a total of 72 appearances for the Gabon national team and scored 30 goals. As of 2022, his net worth is estimated at $55 million, which mainly comes from his football career. Aubameyang tore down an old 1930s house and built an incredible home on the land in North London. The house boasts a luxury bar, indoor swimming pool, jacuzzi, sauna, steam room, gym, and especially an underground garage which can be accessed by a car lift. Plus the pad also comes fitted with a steam room and sauna. Upstairs there are seven bedrooms in the luxury pad, a safe room, and extensive entertaining and living spaces. The property backs on an empty field, ensuring Aubameyang, wife Alicia, and his two sons Pierre Jr. and Curtis don't have their views spoiled.
The first car he owns is an Aston Martin DB9 Volante II, which was worth $270,000. Despite Aston Martin's reputation for poor reliability, the DB9 has proved to be an extremely reliable car when it's looked after. The second one is a Range Rover Sport worth $150,000. This car boasts a spacious area, so it's a good choice for his family to travel around. Aubameyang is a fan of Lamborghini, that's why he owns several models of the car. This includes the Lamborghini Aventador with a price tag of $300,000. Thanks to its fashionable design, this car is one of the most favorite choices of vehicles of celebrities. Another Lamborghini he owns is the Urus. This car cost him $220,000 to bring home. It is a great car for off-road terrain and it's so luxurious. It can reach a top speed of 204 miles per hour. The next one also from Lamborghini is the Huracan Evo Spider, which he likes best among the three. It has a price tag of $290,000. Intense, charismatic, and far more resolved than its former self, the Evo is a brilliant supercar dominated by the superb V10 engine. And the last one he owns is Ferrari La Ferrari, which is the most expensive car in his collection, with a price tag of $2.2 million. It's an iconic car that will go down in the annals of history, not only as the first hybrid performance Ferrari, but as one of the fastest and most exciting production cars ever built. Aubameyang is really into collecting shoes. In December 2012, Aubameyang played a game against Olympique Lyonnais wearing a pair of Swarovski crystals encrusted boots, valued at $3,918. The boots had 4,000 small crystals in a design that included his name, number, and his club's crest and colors. If you see the man at a comic convention wearing a Batman costume, don't be alarmed. His obsession with the Dark Knight borders on ridiculous, as you can see Batman's symbol in many of his outfits. Aubameyang is better known for his lightning fast speed. He has a time of 3.7 seconds for 30 meters. He has also claimed to be faster than Olympic sprinter Usain Bolt, but this has yet to be proven. Julian Rias, a German sprinter, has challenged him to a 100-meter race, but he's declined. Despite his flash boots, cars, and hairstyle, Aubameyang is actually quite shy. His teammates describe him as a quiet lad who doesn't drink alcohol and always dreams about football. And that's all for the video today. Thanks for your watching. And be sure to support us with a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Goodbye and see you in the next video.